hope you're doing well at home. Tumewamisi sana watoto. Tumewamisi sana kama walimu, lakini tunawakumbuka na tunawaombea. Bwana asifiwe. Eh, hey, Yesu anakupenda. Sasa tunakuja na Bible, notebook na kalamu. You're going to be talking about handling the situation, you know. Today we are going to talk about praying every day. Jesus coming the storm. You know praying is communicating with God. Matthew 6:33 ambayo inasema seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all the others shall be added unto you. John 4 verse 19 We love because He first loved us. That's like saying God gave us a treasure box filled with lots and lots of love. So then we could open it up and share it with other people. yee Now that's cool! But always and again I say rejoice Rejoice in the Lord Always and again I say rejoice Rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. And again I say rejoice, rejoice, rejoice And again I say rejoice God, welcome to our online class. I'm Tisha Jane and I'm blessed to be here. I'm happy today I'm going to share the word of God with you and I hope you're going to be blessed. So let's start with a word of prayer. Heaven Father, creator of heaven and earth, we thank you this day and this moment before we share your word, Jehovah Father, we pray that you may speak to us and speak to our souls. Help us to learn and understand what you are going to be toward Jehovah. And all you see done that for us, glory, honor, and adoration shall be back to the present. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. So today I will teach about the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah. And we are going to, to read from the book of Genesis 18, verse 16, chapter 16, verse 19 to 29. So... Our theme is the fear of the Lord. Now, our previous Sunday, we learned about Noah and the big flood. I hope you can all remember the story of Noah and why God flooded the land with the with water because the people 
who are disobedient. Today we are going to learn about Sodom and Gomorrah. And I think this story is familiar to most of you. Uh, so, during why God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah is because people of Sodom and Gomorrah were disobedient and they were practicing sexual immorality. And uh, most of you, especially to the young kids, they don't know what is sexual immorality. Sexual immorality is people who are to engage in kusin, as in men to men, they were sleeping together, and ladies to ladies, they were sleeping together. And this, this did not make God happy, because as we know, God hates sexual immorality. Praise God. So, God akawa kongyanga na Abraham, alikuanga na plania kudestroy Sodom and Gomorrah. Lakini akutaka kudestroy Sodom and Gomorrah kama jambia Abraham. So akaenda akashia na Abraham. Na Abraham akaplead na God akamwambia, if you find 50 people when you are wako faithful, so, Sodom and Gomorrah utai destroy. It was an agreement and God agreed to it. But wakati walienda waka search, God akupata watu walikuanga faithful Sodom and Gomorrah, 50 of them. Abraham kept begging God until it reached 10. Na akuna watu walikuanga faithful na akuna watu wakua na practice, sodo, wakua na practice sexual immorality. And this, I think why God was so angry is because there was this time Lord alikuanga ameshikwa with a lot of men wakamfungia kwa nyumba and they wanted to practice sexual immorality with him, like gaze him. Yeah, but sasa Lord kept begging on them. Akiwambia, I will bring my wife and my daughters, you can do anything with them, but please spare me. But this man could not, yeah, he could not come to na agreement na lot. So, lot akendelea kuwa beg na awa watu wakakata kusia kabisa. But because lot alikuwa faithful to God, na ya kuwa na practice sexual immorality, God made this man who are outside to be blind. And lot aka escape, aki wa save. So back to Abraham, when Abraham alikosa, walikosa, wakiwa na God, anyone who, the ten people were faithful in Sodom and Gomorrah, God pleaded with God to only save Lot and his family, and God agreed to it. Na akapea, akapea Abraham your permission to save Lot and the family. So Abraham went to Lot's family, na akawambia, God is going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah, na God anawa save nyinyi, so you have to Go away from Sodom and Gomorrah. So Lord told the wife and the son, the son-in-law and the daughters. But the son-in-law had a doubt about it. But later on they came to an agreement. So God, so Lord, sorry, so God, so Lord akatoka na, na God alikuwa mewapea condition, they should not look back. Na yu condition ilikuwa nga, wakienda, wasiangalie nyuma. So wakati Lot alikuwa nga naenda wakati, wakiwa na the daughters and the, and the wife, yani kale ka shetani, I think kalingililia, kalingililia Lot's wife, akaona acha angalia nyuma one Sodom and Gomorrah in the destroy waji. Na the moment Lot's wife aliangalia nyuma, she was turned into a pile of salt. Na kakua statue ya chumvi. Imagine because, because Lord's wife did not fear God, she was destroyed into a lot of salt. And because Lord and the daughters, they feared the Lord, they did not look back. They were saved. And they, because they did not practice sexual immorality, God was saved from being destroyed together with the other people who were practicing sexual immorality, Sodom and Gomorrah. Just keep yourself into those food. Now imagine where when Lord na na the daughter umepoyo opportunity ya kuseviwa kwa sababu you are not you are not sinning and you are fearing the lord this tells us what do what, what do we learn from this we learn that those who fear the lord they shall be saved and those who don't practice sexual immorality those who obey god and do according to his will they shall be saved kama abraham angenda akapate the 50 people when god alikuwa na al, al request wangepatika na Sodom and Gomorrah, God ange destroy nini Sodom and Gomorrah, but kwa sababu waku wapata, ilibidi ya me destroy na kasevonyo walikuwa faithful. So this tells us that when we fear the Lord, 
it shall save us in all situations it doesn't matter kama ame plan ku destroy shule yenu mzima na wewe ndio uko faithful hapo atakusave kwa sababu wewe ni faithful kwake na what else we learn ni, kwa, ni god takes care of those who fear him ali take care of lot and the family kwa sababu walimuogopa and because lot so ifa kuogopa mungu alikuwa destroyed do not allow them to sin with you unaona ali save lot wakati alikuwa ngamekwa kwa nyumba na wababa wengi walikuwa wanataka kumsodomize but wewe kwa sababu wewe alikuwa nganafia god na alikuwa anaendelea kumuomba akiwa hapo god alimsave alifanya hao men walikuwa hapo ndani hiyo nyumba wote wakakuwa vipovu na wenye walikuwa nje pia wakakuwa blind and lot akasaviwa just imagine your lot and god is saving you from all those things even destroying other people god keeps you safe hata kwa class unapata wengine wanapiga kelele wewe unanyamaza kwa sababu you fear the lord and you know making noise in class it's, it's a sin and wakati chia kikuja kuchapana like maybe alichungulia kwa dirisha akaona vile watu walikuwa wanapiga kelele na huko unapiga kelele umenyamaza tu si god atakusave hapo utachapa wengine wakichapwa ama wakipoa punishment so let us practice the fear of the lord because the fear of the lord will make us be saved from many things and our memory verse today comes from the book of psalms 112 verse 1 which is the memory verse of this the whole of this march and i know we all know what that it says so let us read from the book of psalms let us open our bibles from the book of psalms chapter 112 verse 1 it says praise the lord happy is the person who honors the lord who takes pleasure in obeying his commands I pray that all of you will learn to obey God's command and fear the Lord in all circumstances in all situations. Hata ukienda kuibaskari unakumbuka the fear of the Lord. Hata ukiwa wapi Mungu anakuona. Hata ukijificha chini ya kiti Mungu anakuona. Na kama you fear the Lord and you are faithful to him, he will always save you. God bless you. Let us pray close with the word of prayer. Father Lord, we honor and bless your name. Thank you for the lesson of today. Thank you because you have learned about the fear of the Lord and thank you because you know that you save those who fear you and those who honor you, Jehovah. Help us to be faithful to you and to fear you, Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray and believe. Amen.